from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 420 for Thursday, December 30th, 2021. This week, we have a beautiful Esti DuPont right here on set with us, two new and very cool Sailor 50 States inks, a sneak peek of the epic vintage pen mailer coming out tomorrow, a bit of banter, a whole new contest, plus a bunch of things that are coming soon. Do you know the difference between Iron Man and Aluminum Man? Oh, chemistry. What? Iron Man stops the criminals. The Lunar Man just foils their plans. Foils their plans. Very good. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yes, and how, same to you. How was your Christmas? Uh, fantastic. Uh, of course. I think I was at your house. You, you were here. <laughs> yeah, you were here at Christmas um, with a, a, a new tradition we're going to start. I liked it. Um, I liked it a lot. Uh, lasagna. Lasagna and yeah. garlic bread. Yeah. Plus, I got some chocolates. You got quite, kids. quite a few, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. They are gone now. So the, the kids, yes, they're gone. <laughs> the chocolates, too. <laughs> the chocolates, yes. <laughs> Nothing survived uh, the weekend, that's for sure. You so. still have some lasagna left, though. Nope. Oh, finished that yesterday, did you? Yesterday's yeah. lunch, actually. Yesterday's lunch. Yesterday's lunch. Yesterday's lunch. Was Santa good to you? Uh, Santa was uh, was fantastic, yes. How so? Uh, well, <gasps> yes. Show and tell. my king of pan fresco. Oh, Santa brought that Santa to you? Santa brought that to me. Wow. Uh, so... That was the last one. You've had that for a while. So Santa gave you the deed or something? Well, yeah, I got the deed. Yeah, yeah. I was I was allowed to officially use it. Yes. So. I, I, I got a pen, too. You did? I got a pen. You know what that is? That is an orange vanishing point. Yeah, a limited edition. Yes. From, I want to say, 2007. Could be. Yep. Uh, orange Crush. I don't orange know if Crush. that was the official yep. name, yep. but that's what everybody's calling it. Do you have the box for it? I have the box. The, the little, leather box. Little. I didn't bring the box. I didn't bring the box. That's almost the best part. <laughs> I put the box away already. <laughs> I just inked it up and started using it. And just in case anybody's wondering, yes, in my stocking, I did receive my potato. Here is my potato. Just so everybody... Yeah. Tomorrow, it will be transformed into a tortilla española. Ah. I'm not buying a 2022 calendar until I see the trailer. First up, the ST DuPont Line D Large in Sunburst Black. This is available in Fountain Pen and Rollerball, is a USA exclusive that is made entirely at the ST DuPont factory in France. Uh, has a brass body with nine layers of luscious, rich black lacquer, and it's finished off with a gold pearlescent spray lacquer. It has that lovely Line D Large fluted grip section, with gold trim and is available in extra fine, fine or medium in a 14 karat gold nib. I have one here. I, I don't know which one I have. You have, have one of them. I know which one I have. You have the fountain <laughs> I pen. I have the fountain pen. Yes. Ah, the fluted section. I love that section. Yeah, that is very it's, nice. You know, for a metal section to have that fluting, it really gives a, a, a ton of grip. Plus it looks nice. It does, it looks very, very nice. Very nice. Yep. So uh, from the descriptions I have read, they first lacquer it with black. Yes. And then the gold is sprayed on. Yep. Yeah, look at that. That's it's just beautiful. fantastic. Yep. They know what they're doing. And all in France at yes. their factory. Yep. And it's got that lovely. Yes, I do like that. That is very nice. Justin not... probably doesn't like it as much. <laughs> <laughs> but the nice, a nice clip. It's got a very nice spring clip. They call it um, an articulated clip. Articulated clip articulated is what they call it. Because yeah. it, it has a pivot point. Yeah, well, it's got a lot of travel. It does. So it, it'll fit in a lot of things. Beautiful pen. Yes. Beautiful pen. Very nice. And uh, there will be a... I was going to uh, ask about... There will be a companion uh, called Starburst Blue. So it'll be blue with... It's the, basically but yeah, a with blue motif. Silver silver. Okay, uh, so it's finish. blue underneath and the silver finish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait yeah, for Yeah, so that's come, that should be uh, any day now. Any day now. But, and then, so of course, they have a, a nice click on the back end. These are a, a, a available for purchase right now, yes. but you can sign up for back in stock if you want the blue, the blue one. Yep. Uh, next, we have the new Sailor 50 States inks, New Jersey and Louisiana. We talked about these last week, but I'm just going to repeat myself because they are so nice. New Jersey is a rich golden yellow ink, comes in a 20 milliliter bottle. It's bold enough for easy to read script, which I am interested in. It is inspired by the New Jersey state bird, the goldfinch. 
Louisiana, on the other hand, is a vibrant violet with green and gold sheen that I can't wait to see. It also comes in a 20 milliliter bottle. It is inspired by the colors of Mardi Gras. I have a color swap, ink you swap. Have, you have? I have New Jersey. New Jersey, I've got Louisiana. Uh -huh. uh, I'm trying to look for this green and gold sheen. Many times that depends on the paper. paper yes, yes, yes. So Sailor seems to be doing a lot of these inks where it'll turn colors on different paper. Right. So so I would use it right away on my Tomoe River. On Tomoe paper River to see, to what, see what its potential mm -hmm. is. Yep. Um, but I do think that you can read the yellow. That is very readable. Is very, I was surprised. Yes. Um, it's very readable. Because uh, is it yellow or gold? It's, it's got to be yellow, but it, it's, it's almost it's gold. A, it's verging on if gold. If it goes down uh, a little bit thicker, that was written with uh, an Anderson Pen's uh, Yovo Medium, number six medium, ah, ah. Uh, on a dip pen. So uh, that is... And just the cutest little... Yes. I call them ice cube bottles. Yep. And nice packaging. Yeah, new, new actually, they they, uh, they changed, they mixed the box up a little bit. Did they? It's a, it's white now with uh, navy blue on the bottom. Ah. So a little bit different than the, than the other states, but... Uh, well, they're here right now. They are right. here right now. As soon as we're done here, I'm going to pick up samples at the store. Uh, you want a Louisiana? I want one of each. I like the Louisiana. The Louisiana That's is nice. very nice. As promised, a preview of tomorrow's epic vintage pen mailer. It's big. Nearly 100 pens, I understand. It'll be in your inbox if you're, uh, what, subscribed to our mailer. It will also be, of course, online as of about 9 a.m. Central Time Friday, which is tomorrow. But to just give you a little preview, here is Mr. Anderson himself. We have some really, really cool pens this time I've around. seen some, and so, I, I want some. Uh, as, as in the past, these are primarily Japanese. These are super cool. So uh, this one here is just fun. We've got a platinum uh, pocket pen. It's got these cool blue stripes. It's got a yellow cap. It's got white barrel, uh, 18 karat gold nib. Just a cute, cute little fun pocket pen. Very unusual uh, pattern. It's one of the ones I want. Yes. Uh, as, as always, uh, these platinum butterfly pens are, are just so pretty. Uh, the butterfly in red and then like a, uh, a teal, uh, very nice. And then with a beautiful green uh, section and 14 karat nib. So love those. And then uh, we also had a, uh, found this uh, nice pink, all pink platinum pocket all pen. All pink. Yeah. So usually you get a pink section or That's maybe a, a pink barrel, yeah, but yeah. you'll never get a pink all cap. Pink. So all pink. That's kind of cool. Um, we've also got, uh, this is kind of an unusual and kind of a funny, funny pen, the uh, Platinum Playboy. And this is in the large President model. Uh, it had a brushed finish and it's got a big nib, big medium nib on it. And you're not taking that because you already have one. I actually already have one, yeah. It has, it has the Playboy bunny on the top of the cap. It has the Playboy bunny on the, uh, on the uh, cap band. Uh, these were made in 1978. They made about five variations of this pen. Of those uh, five, how many variations do you own? I, I own three, three, three different. Okay. Yeah, the, the main. So that's three a collection. Different. Yeah, according to yep. you. Yep. Okay. So um, we've got a, we've got a couple of cute, a nice platinum oh, tulip set. set. Very nice. Fountain pen, mechanical pencil. Fountain pen's got a little pink, pink section on it. That's Colors cute. like that. People like that. Yep. Uh, this one, this one kind of walked in. This is kind of a a, a cool uh, 1911 standard sailor uh, in the now discontinued blue. But this is the old style nib, Maybe. so it's uh, at least twenty some years old, uh, if not if not uh -huh. older. It has the less decorated nib, which is kind of kind of nice. So we found one of those. That's great. Um, Sailor leather. leather pen. Leather. Yes. Uh, so you see leather pens in platinum quite often. Sometimes in Pilot, uh, not as often in Sailor at least that I found, but the body and the barrel and the cap are, are uh, wrapped in a black leather on this. Nice. And then a gold nib. So that's, that's kind of fun. Uh, and a couple more sailors that are just neat. We, we have a gold version of this pen. Uh, it's kind of a... Um, nice pattern. A nice pattern on it. Uh, 14 karat gold nib on it. Really, really, a full size pen, really nice. Uh, this little guy, uh, I say Shalana. Red Shalana, yep. Shalana. Uh, it's got a little bit of a, a brushed finish underneath the really? lacquer. Yeah, it's pretty super cool. Uh, red section, uh, 14 karat gold, extra fine that nib. That is nice, Shalana. Yep, yep, this is nice. So uh, we've got that. Now remind me, uh, they 
don't take a cartridge. They do take a cartridge. They do take a cartridge. Yes. Do yes. they have a converter? There is a converter available. And you can um, make it an eyedropper? No, you can't. You can't. Um, they still actually make uh, and sell the converter and the cartridges. We do have some cartridges. So. Interesting. Yep. It just seems so thin. It, it's very thin. Very it's the, thin. pretty much the world's thinnest pen. So Pretty much the world's thinnest pen. Pretty much. Pen. Yep. What else you got? Um, this one is kind of cute. Uh, this is a sailor. Um, it has a little pink bicycle. It does. On it. Look at that. It's, so. I believe, called a penny farthing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's seen a little bit of uh, wabi-sabi here, but uh, uh, who doesn't like a little pink bicycle? <laughs> wabi-sabi? Wabi-sabi. <laughs> Next. Next. Um, we've had these before. These are super cool. What's that? This is a, uh, a mint stickered pilot short. Oh, it's the expandable. It expands. I like that so, one. And this one has like one. has a uh, gold zogan inlay on it, um, and, and it will fit a converter, believe it or not. Well, if the Shalana does. Well, not all Japanese pocket pens will accept a converter oh. because they're too short. So this is the one to but get. This, this one will, yeah. So And it's mint and stickered. So that's, is that's, it postable? It's absolutely, yeah. Posted, is yeah, it? absolutely. Look at that. Uh, and, it, and it's nice and flush. It, it, is, it is really a nice, nice pen. Nice. These nice. are super cool. Um, I've got a bunch of these um, Pilot E's, brand new, stickered. We've got this lovely kind of a, a satin mat, um, or satin uh, gold cap, champagne cap. We've got the fingernail nib section there. Uh, I have a couple in soft. What is that section? You can see through it. Tra yeah, it's a, yep, yep. Uh, that, visual that aid section. Cap mm -hmm. is nice and matte. Never been satin. inked. Yep. An E. So it's a, a Pilot E. We've got a bunch for, of these. For Eric. Uh, for Eric, absolutely. Yeah. I also have uh, uh, a Pilot N, new in the sticker. So um, we've got a lot of cool uh, new pilots, but then we also have um, one is missing out of the tray here. <laughs> that was super mine. Let's go. Um, we have a bunch of these uh, Pilot Quattros, which are super cool. They uh, are amazing. Aren't they cool. neat? Aren't they neat? And I think especially this that one and turquoise. Turquoise, yeah. It's, teal. The clip is teal, and it's. It's got four sides. Yes, yes, four sided. Um, I've got a black and gold one here, which has a, a, this a gold is nib. Really cool. Um, that those are that has a steel nib, but these are these are mint. These are new old and stock. They were called Quattro. Quattro, yep. And they're not like flat sided. They're kind of curved. No, no. an edge curve. Yeah, and that edge. one you could you could turn it so you could mix it up. Oh, you you got to pull. You got to pull it out though. Look at yeah. that. Let's see. We'll put the white next to it. Put the white. Does it work? Yep. There you go. That's neat. Um, we've got one in kind of a, a gunmetal with uh, a nice gunmetal section, and then uh, this one. This one may be maybe pretty. I mean, after the turquoise one, this one's pretty cool. Matte black. It's a quattro. Quattro with a matte black nib. Oh yes, I can see it now. Yeah. So that is nice too. That stealth. is cool. A stealth. stealth yeah. Quattro. Yeah, and it's kind of just a. It's not this a one. This finish. one is going to go immediately. That's that is just that's too just, fun to look. It at. It is too fun. Yeah. Too yeah, fun. So, um, it's funny are, how he sees the tray. He says, "One's missing." Yes. You've been at pen shop well, too I, long. I, <laughs> I know that pen. That's that's one of the outstanding <laughs> pens in the lot. So, uh, that's just a short preview. We've got a bunch of other uh, pens, including uh, I've even got a three-piece uh, pink sailor set and all sorts of other super cool things. So, so that'll be uh, going out via email to everyone on our mailing list yep. tomorrow at 9 a.m. and it also goes live on the website. Yes. Yep. Uh, and not before. Not before. Not, not before, before 9. <laughs> Central time. My new year resolution is the same as last year. 1080p. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Yes. Do you remember last week we started a contest? We did. It was a contest, the prize of which was a $20 gift certificate to Anderson Pens. Uh, we showed a, a writing sample. Yes. And wanted people to guess in the comments of the last podcast whether it was your writing or my writing. I guessed wrong. Did you guess wrong? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we've got lots of results. It's still going for another week. So if you okay. want to get in on that, okay. you just go to the last podcast, which was 419. Uh, Take a look at the podcast, see the writing sample, and decide whether you think it's my writing, Eric's or 
Brian's writing and put it in the comments. You don't okay. have to be right. Okay. You just have to enter a guess. Um, and we will do a, a, a random drawing next week on Great. the first podcast of the year for that $20 gift certificate. Here are some comments uh, that are already in there. I thought you should read that okay. one. It's from Auntie Penfriend. What does Auntie Penfriend have to say? Uh, she says, uh, Brian, writing, uh, Merry Christmas to you and your staff and families. Thank you for such entertaining and informative videos. Yes. So. Yeah. I made a typo there. It says Brian's writing. Oh, Brian's she is, writing. She is guessing Brian's yes. writing. Okay. I got, are, we, are we saying who it is? Uh, yeah, they put it on. It's, okay. it's public knowledge. Okay. Public, public knowledge. knowledge. All right. Ryan W. said, I am going with Eric only because his shirt style swayed me. Keep up the fun videos. <laughs> true s- valid reason. True story. Last week, Eric nixed my shirt option. Yeah, he had to change his shirt. He, he made he me change, change shirt. my shirt. He says, I want something funner. More fun. What did Ralph have to say? Uh, Ralph Wells uh, says, Eric or Brian, a difficult choice. I'm going with Eric. Thank you for another year of enjoyable podcasts. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all the Anderson Penns family. Yeah, and very nice. Team. Very Thank nice. you. Well. It has been quite a year. Yes. Lots of podcasts. Yes. This is our last podcast of 2021. Uh, that's amazing. Do you have, um, what do they call those things? New resolutions? resolutions? <laughs> yes. My resolution is to not have a resolution. Not oh, You probably succeed at that one. Yes. Set my bar very low. At some point in the comments, they started saying Team Eric and Team Brian. And I didn't realize it was a contest, but all of a sudden I want people. It is evenly split. I did the math this morning. It's 48% Brian and 52% okay. Eric. Okay. And I still don't know who on, whose writing it was. But speaking of contests, how about a new one? Okay. Sure. Well, let's make it up on the spot. Uh, let's get Justin to play a little clip here of our Ink Bottle comic. Okay. Have him tell a joke. Not to brag. But I already have a date for New Year's Eve, December 31st. And now that that's done, we'll have a contest about the Ink Bottle comic, because that's what we're calling him, Ink okay. Bottle comic. But he needs a name. He's Lisa, been around for a while. Lisa calls him IBD. Yeah, Ink Bottle Dude. Ink Bottle Dude. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, if you can come up with a name, doesn't have to be good. We don't have to, we don't have to use it. <laughs> it have Put to it in the good. comments it's down below. It's probably better if it's not it's good. It's probably better it's if probably it's not better. good. Family friend. It's another $20 gift certificate to Anderson Pens. It'll run for two weeks. Um, the only thing you have to do to enter is to make a suggested name in the comments of the YouTube video. Uh, we may or may not use it. it. Like I said, it doesn't have to be good. Probably better if it isn't good. Uh, but he needs a name. Yes. He needs a yes. name. So, make a, make a new contest. Yes. New contest. First up, coming soon, two new ST DuPont D initial ballpoints. We've got Matt Khaki with chrome trim and Matt Burgundy with gold trim. They have a solid brass body with matte lacquer, cylindrical body with tapered nose cone, and a twist mechanism. And we don't have them here, but I have seen them before. We have some in the store. The, not, not these colors. Not, but no, but the pen is, itself. The yeah, pen yeah. itself. And these are very nice. That's a very, very nice, nice pen. Very nice yes. yes. Um, I'm looking forward to this Matt Burgundy. I think that's going to be... Yeah, I'm looking to the, 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 the khaki. The khaki's interesting khaki. too, yeah, yeah. That they spelled K-A-K-I. A-K-I yes, it's, every time I type it in, it <laughs> wants to autocorrect, but yeah, K-A-K-I. Uh, because it has the chrome, so that's, uh, mm-hmm. I like that more. Uh, but I was thinking about these, uh, the initial ballpoints. If I, if I was forced to only have one ballpoint, this would be in the running, uh, a D initial. Yep. Um, it does have the twist. If yes. I could only have one, I might insist on a, a, a push, push button. You like a push, but yeah. these are very, very nice pens, and they're the entry level SD. Yes, yeah, yeah, they're, they're not terribly expensive. Not for not a terribly. luxury, and they are they part. are luxury. They're they're very and they very come in nice. lots of colors. Yes, wasn't that shark blue? Shark blue. Shark blue. Yeah, it was that, was that same nice matte color. finish? Yep. Uh, very popular. It's that's it's, the first one that caught my eye. It's a it refreshing is. blue. It's, a, it's very nice. All of them are very nice. These are not here yet. When do we expect them? Uh, sometime soon. Sometime soon. On the first. The first. First chance we chance get. Chance we get. <laughs> also coming soon, the Sailor Ebonite Sculpture Fountain Ooh. Pens. This I am very, very excited about. I we have not seen them. We have only seen pictures, seen pictures of them. pictures, yes. But we did get the details. They are inspired by the quiet of late night, which already I like. Yes. They are designed to make evening journaling elegant. They have already sold me on these pens. Each design reflects a different part of the night. There's one design called Yogatsumi, which is night haze. 
It is sand and bead blasted, the finish. That one, it looks... That's what you like. Fantastic. It's pleasant to touch. It has a rough texture, Mm -hmm. so it's pleasant to touch, they say. It is the haze of night at the foot of a mountain. I, that just makes me want to pass. I've never been to the foot of a mountain at the haze of night. So at the I, haze I, of night. I, I could imagine it would be fantastic. Uh, another one they have is Yako, Night Light. It's a diamond cut pattern with layers of circles. The pattern appears to shift in appearance as the angle and type of light reflects off its surface. This is an interesting Yeah, pattern. I think this is going to be a neat one. It's uh, supposed to be like the glowing diffuse light on a night road. So I like that one too. Okay. But then there's my favorite, Yok- Yokaze, Night Breeze. It is engraved with vertical lines to express the feel of a night wind blowing through empty streets. They pick the right words for these Yes, yes. Some, they, whoever they pay, yes. they pay them, pay them enough. <laughs> they all have 21 karat nibs that come in fine, medium, broad. There's gold trim. There's a roll stop, much like the yes. 110th. Yes, yes. Uh, each comes with a bottle of Sailor Ink Studio ink, but... Not in the something special about that, and they're it's a ex- different different Merck bottle, uh, a different bottle, something that we haven't seen before. Have we seen it before? Yes, yeah, we, we have. have. It. Uh, just it's have just a different, different label. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Expected at the end of January 2022. So, I was, soon. I was very very happy. Were you to see Sailor come out with a pen that had some. Feature from the 110th anniversary. The roll stop. I wanted that roll stop to. That roll to, stop is very nice. To come over to another pen and to have it in an ebonite pen. Now, we should clarify: these are the full size 21 karat nibs, not the king of pen size. Right, so they're full size, not the full size, not, not ginormous. Yes, yes. Um, but I'm just so happy to see that, and I, I can't wait to see them in person. So, honestly, I don't know which one is my favorite. Um, yeah, I'll have to see them all and make a decision. I think some of them, ex- except for the first one, they're going to be hard to really catch until you, you've seen it. You, you know, the, the pictures don't do it justice. No, they can't. They can't. Uh, end of January 2022, we will keep you posted. There's also something else new that we are not supposed to know about and we can't talk about, so I won't mention it. How's that? A, That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. I love that it's one. another one. It's that another one. one. I yes. cannot wait for that. But... I don't know about it. Do you know about it? I, I don't know about it. I know nothing. I saw it in Chicago. Try that line there. Wait a minute. Did you see it in Chicago? Because sometimes you do. No, oh, you didn't even know about these things. No. Okay, <laughs> wrap it up. All right. Thanks for joining us. Tune in uh, next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. There's a store in Chicago. Where is that store? It's on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. And who do you find there? Uh, Lisa is there. Seven days a week. Seven days a week? Yep. Is there a a URL web address? Uh, Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Most excellent. Yes. Like this video, please. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. See you next time.